I want to talk about something, this term that I first heard uh, Maharshi say, which is a term I'd never heard before, but it's called nature support, Na support of nature. And it, the idea is that things go your way more as a result of meditating. And it's not a, a woo sort of an idea. It, it's nature supports. If you plant a seed in the proper soil at the proper time, in the proper climactic conditions, and water it appropriately, the seed flourishes, grows. That is nature support. It's not magical from outside something happens. From your side, from our side, we did something correct. We set up the conditions for nature to support. Well, that happens, people report, increasingly as a result of meditating. And uh, I keep referring to Dr. Rosenthal, but he wrote a wonderful book called Supermind, which he has a whole chapter on nature support. And it's a lovely byproduct of meditation that I found in my life and other people find. It's not like this isolated, oh, I got lucky, that sort of luck, sort of a, a desert, and then you find an oasis. It's increasingly, there is something in one's life that there just seems to be less struggle, less fighting, less resistance, and more you have an idea, and it's a good one, and it gets supported, or you have an idea, and it's not a good one, and you learn right at the beginning, you're witness the whole thing enough, you're not so attached to it, you realize, eh, not such a good idea. So you don't go down the road 10 miles to realize you went down the wrong road. But that idea of luck being disconnected from life and this notion of nature support, it's a wonderful benefit. And that doesn't mean that life doesn't have incredible challenges and difficulties that we face. Remember yesterday I was talking about you have stressors and then you have the stress response. So stress, things happen, but how we interpret them, how we respond to them, that is in our control. And as we continue to meditate, as we continue to sort of access those deeper levels of our own nature, well, that our own nature is nature's nature too. We just spontaneously align ourselves with the laws of nature that sort of uphold growth, evolution. And that can be even on a you know surface level where you're less stressed, so you're not eating out of depression or you're not eating out of anger, you're, that sort of thing. So you're choosing the food. Naturally, you're drawn to the food that make you feel better, so then you feel healthier. So, I mean, is that nature support? That's living in a, alignment with nature. But there can be other things too where things just sort of magically somehow miraculously go your way where uh, you run into a person or you a person calls you out of the blue or just something happens that individually you never could have orchestrated it there are too many factors involved and it just sort of comes together at that moment that works and if it was just discreet once in a while then you could say, well, that was lucky. But increasingly, that becomes, according to people's experience, uh, more of a, of a nature. Just life becomes, I use the word, graceful, elegant, less of a struggle, less of a battle. What our desires are are more in tune with nature. What our, our ideas are are more in tune with nature. And nature supports. I'm not offering this as a something you have to believe in at all, just an observation of what people's experiences, my experience and some people's experiences are, or that was, I didn't get any supportive nature on that one. It's not giving up authorship. It's not giving up ownership. It's not giving up agency or responsibility. It's doing the things, setting up the conditions so that that seed grows into a wonderful flower or apple tree or carrot <laughs>
Word of the day is a Greek word, sophrosyne, sophrosyne. Classical Greek, it means a healthy state of mind characterized by natural self-control, moderation, and a deep awareness of one's innermost self, which results in true happiness. Sophrosyne, a healthy state of mind characterized by natural self-control, moderation, and a deep awareness of one's innermost self, which results in true happiness. S-O-P-H-R-O-S-Y-N-E. Thank you all very much for joining and uh, hope we can all connect again soon. All right, have a great day.